This next uh, artist is uh, named uh, Dr. Really, uh, and it's, uh, I don't really know what his actual name is, but this guy's out there, and he's uh, produced a, an artwork based upon the uh, Mayan creation god named Huracan, H-U-R-A-C-A-N, um, which is a creation deity in the uh, Mayan uh, mythology. And it's the uh, god upon which the term hurricane is based. So he's taken a 1970, uh, maybe 1980 Toyota of some kind and stripped it completely and erected this zoomorphic interpretation of the hurricane god with this big hook nose and uh, big bulging red eyes and uh, photo or sort so of like luminescent uh, thin luminescent lights surrounding its uh, the carcass of the artwork and and in this video he talks a little bit about uh, how we went and created the thing. Hope you enjoy it. Well, hey, how you doing? I'm Dr. Really. I'm the senior anthropologist with the Mind Shaft Society here. And uh, we go on extraterrestrial anthropological expeditions every winter, and we recreate the findings and present them up at Burning Man. Now, this is one of our findings. It's Huracan, H-U-R-A-C-A-N. Huracan is the god of fierce wind from the Mayan culture south of the border. That's where we took our expedition two years ago. Huracan uh, is, as I mentioned, the Mayan god of fierce wind, and uh, he's a recreation uh, of that uh, god of South of Market. I mean, south of the border. South of Market is where he's going tomorrow to the Burning Man decompression. We go on these expeditions every winter, we recreate the findings, and we present them at Burning Man every year. At the first Burning Man, which was right over there at Baker Beach, there were only 40 of us there, and uh, 22 years later now, uh, we have to explain it to 40,000 people. Hey, nice to see you too! And uh, anyway, uh, we go on these expeditions and we uh, present the findings. And uh, one of them, we, uh, we went north of the 13th unparallel one year where we believe we discovered the origins of belief. Our resident astronomer, Dr. Skid, surmised that the Martians sent down a crystalline rhomboid that had the concept of belief instilled in it and it uh, instilled that concept of belief in Neanderthal man who was walking around the earth. Now, you know, that's uh, neither here nor there, but uh, it did uh, give us the concept of belief. Flying back from that expedition north of the 13th unparallel, Captain Plumbeam of Playa Air flew us into Baghdad right before George Bush invaded. And uh, we noticed all this clandestine uh, activity and we were just looking for fuel. Well, while Captain Plumbeam was negotiating for, for fuel for our charter airline, Playa Air, a very shitty airline, but it gets you there. Uh, we, a couple of us got, got in a cab and went into downtown Baghdad to the Museum of Iraqi Antiquities, and we picked up some looted artifacts there. All right, follow me. These are, uh, these are looted artifacts that we got when we picked up... Uh, when we were refueling in Baghdad a couple years ago, right before Bush invaded. I don't know if you can see it here, but that's, uh, 
that's a cuneiform there. That's uh, that's one of the earliest forms of written language, right there. There's a gold candlestick that was carved out of gold. There's a gold plate back there. Here's some other cuneiform things here, and here's some here's some jewelry from Mesopotamia. And there's some more cuneiforms here. So these are these are all sort of like looted artifacts that uh, were looted.